Hello my stitchers. I welcome you to Stitching Mall and I'm back with this cute little tiny baby frog. This frog is used for babies up to 3 years old. Its upper part is known as bodice or yoke and the lower part is the skirt. It is prepared with or without collars. Today we'll cut front and back bodies, cut two pieces of skirt, cut bias strips to finish armhole and neck, cut two pieces of belt and cut two pieces of buttonhole to be stitched on shoulders. In a baby frog, the body's length is kept up to the chest line or preferably one or a one fourth inch lesser than the chest line. Opening for this frog is kept on the shoulders but you can keep it in front or at the back as well. Less than 1 meter fabric is required to make a baby frock. So we will be making this frock lengthwise. We are cutting front and back together. The bodice of this frock is above chest line. So our fabric width is shoulder plus 3 inch. That would be about uh, uh, 4 and a half is the shoulder. So double of that. That is 9 plus 3 inch. We fold it one more time because we are cutting front and back together. This is the wrong side of the fabric. To get a neat finish, we press this fabric with an iron. While making kids dresses, it's advisable that you keep the width and the measurements of the dress half or one inch extra, extra or you keep the interns more. The shoulder we had taken, shoulder that is half, half shoulder is four and a half and add to it one fourth of an inch. So shoulder plus one fourth of an inch. Neck width is chest into 12 that is 1.75 inches front neck length is chest into 12 plus 1 fourth of an inch or you can take it as 2 inch Shape the back neck and we take half inch, half inch length for the back neck. So this is our front neck and this is half inch neck length for the back neck. I am not adding anything for the stitching that we need for the shoulders. So you can add about one fourth of an inch or half inch for that. I am taking it as actual because it is like it varies for the babies like zero to six months. This is a very tiny frock but you can add sufficient width to that. Don't make dresses for the babies size to size because they outgrow the dresses very fast. Take half inch down from shoulder and join this mark with the neck. After joining the shoulder slope, we take midpo midpoint of this armhole. This is 4 so we take 2 and we take 1 fourth of an inch inside. And from here we curve the front armhole. Take half inch down from the middle of this bodies that is towards the folded side and join it till the end of this armhole that is chest line and shape it. This is just for the front bodies. So this is our front bodies ready but because we are cutting the back side also for that we take one inch extra and we mark 
we extend it one inch out this is to shape the back armhole and we shape it on the line so this is for the back armhole and this is our front and back armhole and the body is ready we'll cut it we'll cut the outline only so we'll cut the back neck shoulders and your back armhole and even from the lower part we'll cut that extended half inch that we extended we'll cut that make a small notch or cut in middle of this bottom of this body and separate both the pieces so this one we'll keep as front our front body part now cut the front neck we cut the front armhole in the back body part we need to cut that half inch extra that we had extended so we mark this half inch and we make it straight and we'll cut it off we don't need this extended part in the back bodies because the reason for this is that uh, the small babies have a bigger tummy and for that reason the dress should not look uh, raised that's why we need to increase this half inch extra from the front our baby frocks front and back bodies is cut now and now we'll cut the skirt the length of the skirt is frock length minus body length so frock length we are taking 18 inch and we minus body length that is 4 inch to it so the total that skirt length we need is 14 inch and we will be needing half inch that is for stitching from top and 2 uh, inch or 4 inch you can add for bottom in turns mark a straight line generally a skirt is taken two or three times more than the chest line mark skirt length as skirt length plus half inch for the stitching and 2 inch to 4 inch for bottom folds so i am taking 4 inch for the bottom folds from folded side mark chest into 4 in our case it is 5 inch because uh, the chest is 20 inches so we mark is 5 inches and from down also we mark 5 inches and we extend this upper line that our marking that we made till the down this is the minimum width of the skirt that we need to join with the bodies so our body's width was chest into 4 or half of shoulder that was about chest into 4 and uh, this is also the same 5 inch and rest of the fabric that is for the gathers so we take that the extra fabric for gathers this one is chest into 4 plus 1 or 1 and a half inch you can take this fabric as just double the chest or three times the chest measure and from here i take it 1 inch down and on horizontal line also i have taken 1 inch inside this marking is mark the bottom straight while cutting we cut the bottom but towards the open side towards the end of this 
skirt we cut half inch up and while we cut on the top side we cut about this half inch curve this is for the front arm hole this is for front arm hole and we make a small notch small cut in center of this skirt cut to separate the sides of the skirt only the sides and here we make a notch at 4 inch up from the bottom this is where we'll be folding when we'll be making the bottom fold that that time that will be required and this is our back side of the skirt and we separate both the pieces and on on that back skirt we cut half inch for the for the back arm hole so here our skirts are ready one is for front that is less deeper and the other one is for back and this one will be joining with the bodies if you want to make this frock with the lining because sometimes the fabric that you are using is a fancy one and you need to attach one lining to it in that case you keep this bodies as we have cut and keep it on a cotton fabric or a satin fabric and cut exactly as our original bodies cutting so here we mark it and we'll cut on this marking and while we'd be stitching first of all we'll stitch as it is on all sides of the bodies attaching this uh, lining and then we'll prepare our frock we'll sew our frock as like a normal frock what i'll be showing you next we need to keep this dress open from the shoulders so we cut two pieces for shoulder button hold and the size would be 3 inch by 3 inch so this is 3 inch the width and the length also i'm keeping 3 inch in fold so here here width wise it is 3 inch we mark lengthwise also it is on fold so this is 3 inch so total is 6 but on on fold it is 3 inch and i keep half inch width wise extra now we cut belt for for length we take 3 inch you can take even lesser and width wise it is double the chest line because it is on fold so you can see that is our chest is about 20 inches so it is 20 inches up and 20 inches down plus 1 inch that it come inside the stitching and from top also you make it straight and we need to cut two pieces of this belt You can get ready-made 
pie strips in the market but i prefer making my own pie strips and to make uh, these pie strips it's quite easy and economic you fold the fabric square fabric you mark 1 inch away or you can take it if you want a wider strip then you can mark it 1 and a half inch and make a straight line and the same way you make multiple markings and cut on those markings we have cut all the pieces required to make our frock complete you can if you want you can add trimmings colors flowers and so many tiny little bit those fancy things to this frock but this is the basic that you need to make a cute little baby frock so we'll in the next video we'll be stitching these pieces together i hope you like making this uh, cutting this uh, tiny little frock with me and you'd catch up with me in the next video to stitch it to complete this uh, cute baby frock and uh, to get the latest notification about making this frock please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet like comment share with your friends and family so they also learn something new and keep watching for more for the latest for wacky for crazy creative and new things bye bye